What's up, everyone? It's your boy NornRad89 here, bringing another rad movie review today. Today we're going to be talking about Cruella, the new Disney live-action film. Is it good? Is it bad? Let's find out. This is going to be a non-spoiler review. Roll it. So Cruella is the new Disney live action film that's based on the character Cruella DeVille. It's her origin story from beginning showing us how she became who she is and all that kind of stuff and her meeting Jasper, her henchman and all that all that and figuring out basically how she became the Glenn Coast Glenn Close character that we see because I actually got confirmation that this is supposed to be an origin story for that character from the live actions back in the day. So let's get down to talking about the positives of this film. So right off the bat, one of the key, key positives is Emma Stone and Emma Thompson. They do such a good job of playing the antagonist and protagonist, butting heads in the film. Seeing their chemistry on screen is so amazing just to realize like it's like that villainous character and protagonist like they just do such a good job bouncing off of each other and you're entertained and really thoroughly want to find out how this feud is going to turn out throughout the film. Even all the side characters too, like the little dogs like Wink and then Jasper and Horace, like all the henchmen, I'm so glad. And even Artie, the one that helps her make the dresses, like all the side characters in this film are amazing. They get just as much shine as Emma Stone and they have such amazing like comical lines that just land that I feel didn't take away from the show at all. It definitely added to the movie and I was thoroughly happy that all those side characters got just as much love as Emma Stone's character. Also, the music, it has a really good 70s soundtrack to it, like some really good popular songs, but not, not too popular, you know what I mean? Like the ones that you see in every film, but it's they definitely got really good key songs to just fit that era and really get that atmosphere feeling and set the motion for where we are in the film, like time-wise. And the costume design and production design is top-notch for sure. Like, they didn't spare any expense. Like, it looks amazing. It's beautiful. Like, all the costumes are freaking top-notch like I said it has just such a good vibe to it the way it, like I explained it like the epicness of the way it is it's kind of like Devil Wears Prada meets like a Scarface type vibe like it's like those two films melded together with like this crazy character and watching the origin and everything but then also having that Devil Wears Prada like kind of production design with all the costumes and all that kind of stuff so it definitely does fit the movie for sure so let's get down to talking about the negatives of this film and for me there's definitely very little negatives to this movie for sure like i didn't i didn't mind the runtime on this film at all but for me one of the negatives that i had is as i was watching it i could kind of picture a more hardcore rated r version of this film with a very similar storyline and watching emma stone deal with being estelle and cruella and those dueling personalities in her head I can see a better version of this story, like rated R, more hardcore, that's like not attached to a Disney product, you know what I mean? Like I just saw a better version, almost like Black Swan, like that's kind of a, another movie I could say, like I had a feeling when I was watching that, that's kind of how I felt a little bit, and I just kept picturing a more hardcore, more rated R version of this film, and it being better, because I'm not a huge fan of Disney, I don't like Disney that much at all, so like, just if it was not attached to a Disney product, I think they could have done a lot better, and taken it into a whole another realm of more hardcore, you know, storyline, and definitely more interesting stuff. And there were some parts that were kind of choppy, like I really did have a great time from beginning to end in this film, but there's some points in the storyline where it's kind of choppy, where it'll give you a twist and then you kind of have to sit there and reevaluate the film and how you see it and everything. So it's kind of got this weird kind of pacing style, which, you know, like it picks up and then slows down, picks up and then slows down. It's kind of like almost like her personality, you know, like switching at the drop of a dime from Estelle to Cruella. That's kind of how the pacing is in the film sometimes. But overall, I thoroughly had a great time. As I said before, I'm not a huge, huge Disney fan. I don't really like the cartoons or the live actions that much at all. But I could easily tell you, in my opinion, this is by far the best Disney live action film that we've gotten so far. Cruella, like I said, it's just such an interesting style movie that has flair, has just the amazing actors like Emma Stone and Emma Thompson and Mark Strong just bringing to life some dope characters, funny side characters, great comedy, and like I said, music that'll just set the mood and the the like the atmosphere for the film. So 
like it's just such a great time easily for me in my opinion like i said the best and this is how disney should go from now on for doing their live actions is kind of focusing more on this style of you know being tied to the product but being able to freely do a lot of stuff creativity wise it came out very well and in my book cruella is going to get an 8.5 out of 10 this is definitely a great time for sure i highly recommend checking this film out and seeing the amazing performance that emma stone gave thanks for sticking around with me everyone i hope you enjoyed this rad movie review don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the videos that i post and all that have a safe and happy day everyone peace out